What's going on people? It's your man the YB back once again. Now, this is probably new old news to you lot, but it's new for me, so we're gonna get at it. Here we go. So Tyson Fury is finally confirmed. The Usyk fight is a million percent official. He retweeted here. You should be able to see. Here we go. Turkey Al uh Sheikh. Okay. One of them ones. For the first time in history, four world belts in the ring of fire between heavyweight boxing champions Fury and Usyk. Feb 17th, 2024. Book your tickets now. There we go. It's on, people. I never thought I'd see it coming, truth be known. Fair play. I said a few weeks ago, there's no way Fury's going to fight Usyk in February, given that Christmas has just happened, and New Year, and... We know Fury likes to celebrate them things with his big family, 15 man deep or whatever it is. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Is Fury going to pull out? I don't think so. Why? The Saudis don't mess about like that, I don't believe. There's no way they're going to set this big event up and have him playing around. I think Fury respects them too much as well. Or he certainly he respects the bag too much. In fact, of all these Saudi fights, bear in mind, historically speaking... More or less every fight there was some sort of delay, wasn't there? But yet every single Saudi fight that's happened, has happened on time. Fact. Every single one, it happens on time. So, I don't see why not, why it won't happen. That means we're literally, what, five, not even that, five, six weeks away. Let's count now. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five and a half weeks away. Wow. I can't wait for this fight. And then a month later, we've got AJ and Nganu and possibly Wilder and Zhang. Damn. Who wins the fight? After the Nganu performance, I mean, the good news here for Fury is at least he's got some momentum. One of the big criticisms of Fury and many boxers today is that they're not active enough. They spend too much time just being inactive, fighting once a year. In fact, I think... Fury at one point was fighting once every 18 months, for example. He fought Wilder in February 2020. He then fought Wilder next. His next fight was against Wilder in what, October, November 2021, 18 months later. Crazy. And then it was another 14, 13 months until he fought Chisora in December 22. So he'd been completely inactive. And then another year until he fought, what's his name? Tell I know. That's not true, no. He fought Dillian White in April 22 as well. So yeah, either way, for a large part of his career, he's been inactive. He just fought in Ghanu, which, however you look at it, I think he lost. But regardless, it was at least a great opportunity to get some good rounds under your belt. Those really are some of the best rounds, Fury's most challenging rounds Fury's had in his career. Nganu wasn't just like a Chisora wading forward and doing whatever else. He was actually skillful and technical. I'm trying to think who really is a better... If you had to pick, having seen the Nganu fight, who's a better preparation for Usyk than Nganu? Yes, Nganu isn't Southpaw. But we know, what's going to be interesting is how is Fury going to come out for that fight anyway? He may come out Southpaw himself to level it up. So it is essentially an orthodox versus orthodox fight. These just add elements to the game. And I think we're going to see Fury at the very least switch hitting. I think he'll try. He'll start off whatever. And if he's not having success, he'll switch it up. He'll probably mix it up regardless. Even early on, he might mix it up to give Usyk different looks. Who have I got winning? Like I said, before the Nganu fight, I was 100% Fury. Now, I mean, who knows? If Fury was out of shape, John Fury alleges Fury wasn't in shape. If he was out of shape, which he may well have been after being out of the ring for a year. The Nganu fight was certainly a good camp and a good fight to have had to get him sharp. Equally though, Usyk only fought in August. So that's six months. He got some good rounds in there against... Um, Dubois, so they're both really on form in that sense, in terms of their, what would you say, activity levels, and 
Usyk had not a tough fight, but it was tricky at points. He got put down. Whether you think it was legal or not, he went down and was on the floor for five minutes. So, yeah, both men are sharp. We're really seeing these two individuals at the sharpest points in their game. Now, would it have been better for Fury to have blown Nganu out? Yep. But that would have just meant that there was no chance Usyk, Usyk was in the fight. As far as boxing fans go, as far as our entertainment goes, this really was the best outcome. Fury not looking too great. Why? Because Fury was the favourite. Fury was the big favourite to beat Usyk. Now, I mean, if Nganu can arguably outbox Fury, why can't Usyk, who's been doing it 20 years? Although, Nganu's a big lump. Nganu's, what, 275? Usyk's going to be 230. Fury's going to be 275. The size difference. Also, the power. Fury had to be wary of Nganu. I'm not sure... Fury's going to respect Usyk's power so much. Fury isn't a Daniel Dubois who's scared to get hit off a jab. Fury eats them all night, or can eat them all night. Not, he's not. In fact, he wasn't even. Fury wasn't even that cautious against Wilder, even after being put down. If anything, it turned him on. So F Usyk's tip tapping. If anything, it's going to irritate Fury. I can see Fury getting irritated potentially, a bit like the Steve Cunningham fight. Fury was struggling with the. The speed and the nimbleness of Cunningham. And then he got put down and just got P-I-S-S-E-D'd off. Put his hands up and started marching forward. I think that's a possibility here. Let's say after four rounds, the whole boxing thing ain't working out so well for Fury. I can see him just turning on. Because Fury can do that. Fury can put his hands up and get stuck in. Is Yusuke going to be able to negotiate that well? He didn't negotiate too well against Chisora. When Chisora was wading forward and putting it on him, he did. I mean, he's never looked that comfortable under pressure. That round after Dubois put him down, he wasn't that comfortable when Dubois was coming looking for him. Now, Dubois couldn't sustain it. Chisora sustained it. Again, AJ. When AJ came forward, I think it was round nine, maybe in the second fight, and was pressing him. He didn't look too comfortable, but AJ couldn't sustain it. I believe Fury will be able to su sustain it. And it's at that point we're going to find out how great Usyk really is. If Usyk beats Fury, he's the greatest heavyweight, in my opinion, of all time. Given his limitations. He's fighting men here who are four inches taller, 40 pounds bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no way on paper... Music should be beating Fury. No way. There's never been such a big gap in the history of boxing. Even Mike Tyson. When Mike Tyson was 215, he was fighting people okay. What, 230? Maybe. Maybe 235. We're talking about 230 versus 275 here. And the height as well. It, this should be a foregone conclusion. So yeah, I have to stick with my head here. Which, as we know... <laughs> Doesn't mean much or doesn't guarantee much, but I'm back in um I'm back in Fury to get it done. By stoppage. I mean and that's the thing. The Dubois fight not set the blueprint, but it certainly gave us a look in. It gave us a look in. We know or we can conclude Fury don't or Usyk don't like pressure and he don't like body work. Both of which, and I mean, in recent years, actually, Fury hasn't done so much body work. He's fallen in love with that whole cronk, step in with a big drilling jab and step in with a big right hand. But you'd like to think his training team will have him dialed in for some body work. It's time to go to the body, which historically Fury didn't mind doing, or Fury was adept to. He needs to go back to that. If I see Fury jumping in with a big one-two again, U6-2, that's not going to work for U6, I don't believe. We need to see pop, pop, whip, whip, Errol Spence style. Errol Spence is renowned for double jab and then wing, wing to the body. Big uppercuts. That's what I want to see from Fury. Hands up, pressing forward. And it's then, the onus then is on Usyk to do something magical. How does Usyk win? How does Usyk win every fight? Apart from Daniel DeQuitt, who quit, yeah? He wins every fight by kind of just nicking, nicking by nicking rounds, right? It's not 
nothing too definitive. So, do you know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's one of them. Uh, I have more arguments for how Fury wins than how Usyk wins. But, we know I've always been a, not a critical, but I've always been, I've never been that turned on by Usyk. Then again, time and time again, he proves me wrong. But, we've never actually, I say it to this day, we've never actually seen a proper heavyweight put it on Usyk with true tenacity, true belief, and true passion. We haven't seen it, people. Dubois couldn't do it. AJ couldn't do it. Both of them only showed spurts. Fury, I believe, can do it. But, in his last performance, he looked as if he's maybe losing a bit of a taste for the game. He may be losing a bit of that, which they all do. He's getting older, he's made heaps of money. But anyway, it's intriguing. I've got it. I've still got it 70-30 Fury, to be honest. Maybe I was 80-20 before. I just I can't see. you also got to take into account here the length. Fury's another two inches taller than AJ. All these things add up. It don't make it no easier. Fury's also quicker than AJ. He's not as powerful. He's also got a better IQ than AJ. He's got better defence. So if AJ can have half close fights with Fusik, I'd like to think that Fury can get it done. Fury's more dynamic. He can press. He can have a fight. He can go down and get up. And not be scared. If you're not scared of Vinga or if you're not scared of Wilder, you ain't gonna be scared of Usyk. But yeah, let's see how it plays out. I'm excited. Smash the like button. I can't lie. Most of us didn't think this thing was coming. It's coming now. So yeah, salute to the Saudis really for getting it done. Smash the like button, subscribe, and look off the bell 100%.